Okay, let's go. Lucky and Wild hit arcades in 1992. The game was developed and published by Namco. The arcade was an on-rails light gun shooter with a twist. One player would control a car with a steering wheel peripheral, dodging obstacles, while player two shot at enemies using a mounted handgun on the cabinet. However, the game could be played three ways, with one player shooting and driving, two players, one shooting, the other driving and shooting, or three players, one driving and the two others shooting. The overall design of the cabinet was something very different in 1992, combining both hardware of a racing and shooting game. There truly wasn't anything else like it. The arcade was heavily inspired by movies like Tango and Cash, Starsky and Hutch, and other unlikely team duos. 10-4, 20-William-12, we have you eastbound, 14 freeway in pursuit of tanker truck. Backup is available. Air Unit 3 is in the area. I see him, but I can handle this myself. This is Air Unit 3. Forget it, Tango. We'll take it from here. Drop back. Drop dead. I've been on this case for three months. All right, I'm going around. The game used sprite-based graphics to give the illusion of a 3D perspective. No actual 3D models were used. The game featured a story of sorts. You played as Lucky and Wild, the two buddy cops busting crime lords on the highway. The game had cutscenes before and after each level, and they're a nice touch, and most are pretty humorous. Give it up. Well done. <laughs> Glad you could drop in. You like jewelry? The voice acting is terrible, but it adds a sense of charm to the game itself. Give it up. You sure do make life difficult. Lucky and Wild's face animations are also extremely animated and over the top. There are six stages and each had a different theme, like desert, city, countryside, etc. And at the end of each stage, you're awarded bonus points in the form of cash. Based on how much cash you got, you'd gain life lost in the previous level. Your life did not reset in between stages. Instead, the only way to gain health was to rack up a high score. The game is way more enjoyable with a friend. Due to the cabinet's overall design, it still holds up well today. Have a request for an arcade corner? Tweet me and include hashtag arcade corner. For more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on shacknews.com. Anybody want to get high? I'll be damned. Next time on Jack's Arcade Corner. Not bad for a city guy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Stater's Session. Presented by Coca-Cola. Look who we've got. Yes, the gifts. It's Kenta. Sponsored by Airwalk. Great.